Hey guys, Silence CL here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. So this video is kind of late mini because um, I wanted to get my free event gacha tickets first before I did the video. Plus, there was another thing that was going on that's avoiding me from... Uh, preventing me actually from making this video earlier because my neighbors are still drilling away and it's been like over a month now and they're still renovating their place what is going on I'm, I'm seriously worried that they are building like a secret lair upstairs okay so <laughs> if you hear the drilling noises I do apologize uh, beforehand we can't be avoided um, there they are going here there again <laughs> so anyways um, there's a lot to talk about um, in today's episode because today is actually the 10th of November which is also the day that Macross Frontier um, Galaxy Live Revenge 2021 is happening. Um, today is actually day 2 of the performance. Yesterday the Japanese people who managed to get tickets or cin cinema screening were able to watch day 1. Uh, yesterday um, a lot of them were were crying in tears because it's been 11 years, 11 years since the last Macross Frontier concert uh, even though we did get Macross Frontier songs during Crossover Live 2019 but this is just a solely pure Macross Frontier list of songs. So of course, um, considering that the brand new Macross Delta slash Macross Frontier movie came about Yes, um, recently, not yesterday, <laughs> recently in Japan cin cinemas. Um, and yeah, the new soundtracks are also out today, or rather tomorrow. Um, the brand new Macross Frontier single will be released in retail stores in Japan. Of course, for those of us who have actually pre ordered the um, special edition, either the Ranka or Cheryl version, or just the regular special edition without the Shikishi signatures and all that kind of stuff. Most of you guys will probably have gotten emails um, from the retailers that you bought from um, and they are sending them out internationally already. The Japanese fans of course managed to get them two days earlier um, which is fantastic and they managed to enjoy the songs on the soundtracks um, way earlier than some of us of course as usual because you know the perks of staying in the country itself. Oh my god yeah really <laughs> annoying I've been living with this for like <laughs> so long oh god and it's really hindering me from recording videos um, so yes anyways um, let's get down to Ulta Macross now considering that I've already talked about the Macross Frontier Galaxy live tour revenge so for those of you who are able to purchase the live stream ticket from Tokyo um, Tokyo Otaku mode. <laughs> I'm having a hard time remembering the name because I don't buy stuff from them. Their, their things are overpriced. Uh, so the only time that I actually got something from them this time around is because of the Macross Frontier live stream ticket. So if you are a new subscriber to their um, you know, um, online store, you will have a buttload of discounts. So it's definitely a lot more worthwhile to um, purchase the Macross Frontier ticket. In fact, you can still purchase the tickets right now. Um, even though if you can't watch the live stream tonight, which is happening in uh, 2 hours and 45 minutes, um, as of I'm recording this video, so by the time you watch this video, maybe it's about 2 hours plus, you can still get the ticket, you can still enjoy the live stream. If you can't watch the live stream as it goes live, they do have an archiving period for the live stream which is technically one day. So once the live stream ends, the live the, the concert will be archived um, on their streaming platform um, for a day. So basically up to the end of 11th of November. So for those of you who can't watch it um, live, don't worry, you still get to watch it as an archive so it's just one day's worth of archiving so go ahead uh, head over to Tokyo um, Otaku Mode um, and of course get your tickets I'll leave a link in the description for you guys normally I don't promote them because their stuff is really really expensive I guess for you guys in America it's decently priced but still I think shipping stuff from Japan is still cheaper by, than buying from them uh, I'm not an American citizen that's why I feel that way 
Um, so yeah, if you guys have different opinions about this, let me know in the description down, uh, in the comment section down below. I cannot think straight because of the drilling that's going on. Ah, sorry guys. So anyways, there's one other thing we need to mention in Utah Macross. Sadly, I can't do a tutorial for you guys on what you need to do because I accidentally completed the questionnaire. Yes, there's a questionnaire that's going on right now, so if you tap this, and you can see this green icon here. If you tap that, it will bring you to a website uh, after tapping this underlined link that says Kochi Kara, uh, Tochi, Kochira Kara. Uh, so, which basically is click here in English. Um, so, it will bring you to the questionnaire um, which asks you to fill up, um, you know, to gain free singing stones. So, yes, we will get. Um, the, the singing stones will be distributed on the 17th of November as you can see right above the um, the blue underlining there's a whole bunch of dates there so the questionnaire will be available from the 9th which is yesterday uh, to the 14th of November so we've got a few days to go and complete it um, then of course you get free singing stones if I'm not wrong they are, it's 50 singing stones um, that will be given to you guys if you fill up the questionnaire um, so what the questionnaire basically asks you about <clears throat> is the same thing that they did in the past. They ask you um, like what's your favorite Macross series, what um, platforms of information, social media do you use to gain information regarding Uta Macross. Of course, make sure you guys check the YouTube since you guys are watching my video. <laughs> videos uh, regarding Uta Macross then of course if you guys are following me on Instagram make sure you highlight Instagram as well or Twitter that kind of stuff then of course they'll ask you like uh, what's your favorite Macross series what do you like about the game do you like the characters do you like the powering up of the characters episode plates the costumes the Valkyrie upgrades that kind of stuff the usual stuff you can use um, Google Translate you know you just screenshot the questions and translate them out you know probably give you a good understanding of what they're asking you about um, it will take a bit of time especially for those of you who can't really read Japanese um, might take you half an hour to fill it up you know because you have to go back and forth between Google Translate and all that kind of stuff but you know technically um, if you can read Japanese it should take you about 10 minutes to fill it up there's like 22 pages worth of questions if you find it too much of a hassle i can understand why but you know for free to play players 50 singing stones is pretty critical um in the long run you know that kind of stuff so anyway guys it's up to you guys whether you want to fill it up if you do fill it up and if you do need help maybe um comment down in the comments section down below i will try to get to you guys as fast as I can. I respond pretty quickly, so don't worry about it. Anyways, that's all for all the information here. Let's move on to um, the gacha page, which is what we want, because that's what you guys are watching this video for, I think. Um, so first off, let's take a look at the brand new episode plate for Maki Maki. So sadly to say, no special notes attached to the episode plate, but that doesn't mean that it, it will be a useless episode plate. Um, you know, we have to see the stats and of course, um, the brand new effects that maybe this episode plate might introduce, who knows. So let's take a look at the very first page first. 3,779 total score. Ooh, excuse me. Um, and yeah, the plate focuses on charm, which is what you need for the current event song. Um, I mean, technically, you could use this episode plate to help you gain good scores, but it is a Koji event, so technically, high scores don't, don't really actually matter. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So looking at the rest of the um, the stats on the episode plate, voice is in the middle section. So then of course soul suffers greatly. Pay attention to the three other divas that can use this episode plate. So we have Freya, Kaname, and Cheryl. And of course the center skill charm up units charm is boosted by ninety percent up. That's fantastic. Um, very good percentage, but. I don't know if you guys will want to use this as a center position plate considering that the event that's currently going on does deplete your HP gradually. So you probably might use an episode plate with healing abilities unlike unless this episode plate is um, coming with a healing ability as an active skill. So that might be fantastic. 
Um, if you guys are wondering what this episode plates total score is without the plus 25 luck value, it's at 305, uh, 3529. I'm making so many mistakes in this recording. Oh my god. <laughs> so, moving along. <coughs> Active skill, score up. So, it doesn't have the healing ability that we need. So that's kind of a bummer, so definitely we'll be using this episode play as a live skill support. So yeah, so the active skill, it's that 70% boost for 5 seconds, not the best we've seen. We've seen newer 6 star episode plays with the old 100% boost and score for 10 seconds ability. So this episode play is looking like a kind of a wasted chance of release. But let's take a look at the live skill. So it's a short duration ability that requires that fold percentage to give you that high score boost. So I'm sure you guys are familiar with this ability by now. So <clears throat> maximum you can increase is 110% um, in your score boost. So that's pretty decent. Um, so yeah. So is this play actually worthwhile? Um, technically, it's okay. It's not a must, but like I said, usually in my past videos, if you don't have an episode play with such live skills in your collection, it's always good to nice, uh, good to have one in your arsenal whenever you need one, especially one of each series color. So yes, pay attention to that. So yeah, you don't really have to toss your singing stones, um, you know, to pull it out. And of course, there's also this brand new Macross Frontier Live um, Celebration Gacha. So this is to promote the uh, current ongoing Macross Frontier Galaxy Live to a revenge concert that's going on. So it does give that one percent boost um, in you know in getting seven star episode plates. So you can take a look at all the seven star plates that are featured in this Gacha. Of course, the ones that are really important is. The one with both Shero and Ranka in them. Um, of course, that 7 star episode play comes with a special note attachment to it. The rest of them are pretty... Eh, not really fantastic. <laughs> so, yes. So, if you want to see the percentage rate of pulling them out. Um, technically, it's 1% for a 6 star episode play. Um, then, of course, that 1% is broken down to all that 0 0.125. Um, for all the different 7 star plays available within this gacha itself. So if you really want to make use your, of your singing stones wisely, I would recommend you to pull this um, at a discounted rate that it has. Now of course don't forget there's a single free pool as well. So pull the discounted pool and then of course for Makina's brand new plate, just go with the event gacha tickets and then for gold the discounted pool. Uh, yeah, so that's really my recommendation to you guys. So with all of that said, let's dive into today's gacha pools. We're gonna do the afternoon uh, free gacha pool first. You know, just to check the waters if luck is good. All right, here we go. So I didn't see any loading bars. We do get a single Valkyrie animation, so that's a uh, kind of a good sign. You know, to say that today's luck might be decent. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, costume plate. That's nice, and usually these are pretty rare. So the luck today is leading towards the good side, I suppose. <coughs> There's something in my throat today, oh my goodness. Okay, alright, so let's move on to... Let's do the... Hmm, I think we should keep the Frontier Gacha last because that seems more important than Makina's Gacha, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> okay. I mean, it would be nice, you know, just to get the basic requirements, you know, costume points for Maki Maki's costume. That's more than enough. Alright, so Makina's Gacha doesn't get Valkyrie animations, but we do get a decently rare common plate as well, so that's not too bad. Okay, let's move on to the last free single pool from the Frontier Gacha before we move on to the main menu. Okay, let's take a look. What do we get here? So no loading bar as well. Mm. Okay, let's skip this. Oh, this is a 
pretty common plate. I do have double digits for it. So, I don't know. The luck today seems very uncertain. It's leaning to both good and decent today. At least, at least it's within, it's within the decent sector. Alright, so let's use the 10 event gacha tickets to pull Makina's gacha. Like I said, this is what I would recommend you guys if you have the capability of, you know, using the 300 stones on the Micros Frontier banner. So we did get a bit of a loading bar earlier. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Ooh! Wow! We're actually getting some good luck on this one. Okay, we do get a rainbow box and a red box on the second bling. So let's skip all the common stuff. Oh, costume points. Not too bad. There we go, the basic requirements has been met. But I wonder what we'll get for the rainbow box. Here we go. Oh, it evolved! Oh my goodness! <laughs> I was not expecting this. I don't have this as well, so that's pretty fantastic. Okay, so it really is the time for Frontier to shine today. Alright, so we didn't get a featured Makina plate, but we did. I did get a brand new 7 star or rather a 6 star plate featuring Cheryl's um, you know, black bunny costume. Um, so that's fantastic. You know, I don't have that plate yet, so that's another episode plate off the list. Fantastic, fantastic stuff. So yeah, I can unlock Makina's costume with episode orbs. So, oh, oh my goodness. Is the Frontier pool gonna be horrible now? <laughs> Who knows? Anyways, let's do it. We're going in with this as the final pool. Oh wait, I actually do have this. Tickets are gonna expire. Yeah, there's one gonna expire tomorrow. So let's do this. Since we already used the Lucked Up um, on Makina's pool, let's refresh the luck with the template pool from the Super Dimension Gacha. Uh-oh, why is there a loading bar on this? Should I not be doing this pool? Oh no! Okay, it's a mediocre animation for the Valkyries. Red box on the first bling. Alright, two red boxes, so no rainbows, it's fine. As long as the luck is kept for the next one. <laughs> oh, costume points. Okay, no evolution on the red box, so we get some old episode plates here. That's fine. This gacha pool isn't really the main importance after all. Ooh, do I have this? I don't think I do. I do. Okay, I've not seen it very often. Alright, so hopefully that drains away the bad luck. And let's dive into the frontier. Could this episode end with two sex star plates appearing? I don't know. I can I can only hope. Um, so let's do this guys. It's the last pool for today. Hopefully things go well. Alright, we do get some good load speeds there. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. So it's looking to be good. Alright, I guess the Super Dimension Gacha pool did filter out the bad luck. Oh, just like Makina's Gacha, we do get one single rainbow box. Ooh, this is new. I've never seen such an episode play of uh, Bobby before. So that's nice. Okay. Oh, costume points. More costume points. Lovely, lovely stuff. Oh, they're really keeping the rainbow box for last. Oh, oh no, this this episode play of Ranka is giving me nightmares again. Uh, okay. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's loading. It's gonna evolve. Oh! Double six star plates in one episode. Ooh, what's with the Cheryl Gnome love? I mean, you know, I'm happy it's the 6 star plate, but my love is for Ranka. Cheryl, okay. I mean, it's good. Is it gonna evolve? Oh, it did! That's great! <laughs> so more 7 star episode plates in my arsenal. That's fantastic. Um, so yeah, I think 
Yeah, I think I've actually gotten all the seven star plates already from Frontier. Um, yeah, because I think the last Cheryl episode plate was the only one that I'm missing from the collection. And yes, Bobby's episode plate. That's that's pretty nice. I wonder what it will look like when it evolves. Oh, it's for Ranka's um, construction costume. Uh, so anyway, guys, that's it for today. It's been a really rough episode, you know, with the neighbors drilling and all that, and of course something in my throat, me messing up with stuff because I couldn't think properly. But anyway, guys, we managed to struggle through this episode. As usual, let me know your thoughts about everything we discussed. Um, you know, the concert tickets, whether are you guys attending the live stream itself, are you guys joining me in the um, live stream halls later? Um, you know, um, are you buying the tickets for the archiving? Um, you know, so you can watch it later on because you can't do it on the actual live stream itself. Are you going to fill up the questionnaires for the 50 singing stones? Are you doing what I did for today's gacha video? You know, using the discounted singing stones pool for the frontier gacha rather than using it on Makina's um, discounted rate pool. You know, all the good stuff. Let me know everything in the comment section down below as usual guys. Thank you guys so much for watching through the entire video. If you did, you guys are awesome. Make sure you leave a like, share and of course subscribe. Until then guys, I'll see you guys soon. Bye!